Hi, my name is Craig Elford. I am the uh, volunteer pup transport coordinator for Always and Forever. And I've uh, been involved with uh, Always and Forever for a little over a year and a half and, and took over, did my first freedom ride on my birthday a year and a half ago and uh, fell in love with it and uh, took over coordinating all the transportation uh, at the end of July last year. So Freedom Ride is, is where we go into either a shelter or into an owner's home who's having to surrender their pup. And uh, basically we, we coordinate the drive and, and bring them back to Always and Forever to the Little Red Barn or, or wherever they may be going, to a foster home or wherever they're going. But uh, so Freedom Ride is basically taking them out of hell if they're coming out of shelter. Uh, or sad situations like an owner who has to surrender because they're going into a nursing home. And so our, we're the first ones to meet the pups and first one to fall in love. And when we go into a shelter to pick up a pup, so many times the pups are very, very scared. You know, they have that hopeless look in their eyes. You know, a lot of times they're growly uh, because they're scared. They just you know, don't know what's happening to them. You know, so many are coming off of a, off of death row, sadly. They're, they're scheduled to be euthanized. And so they're scared to death. They've been in a shelter for a while. And so first thing we do when we go in is you know, try to softly talk to them. I give them a feeling they know they're gonna be safe. Uh, and that their world's about to change, pardon me. Yeah, it's a very emotional experience. Uh, but it's so wonderful to see a dog that's so scared and to start to see that transformation as you start to talk to them. And they know that they're gonna be loved and cared for. And so many times we see it as we start to take them out of the shelter, we see their demeanor totally change. It goes from hopeless to hope. And as you get them out of the building and, and start to pet them and talk to them, and then we get to do their freedom ride. And I always play soft music for them and talk to them about what their life's gonna be like at the Little Red Bar. Yeah, we have been very fortunate. We've been, built a team of volunteers that have amazing volunteers out there. Uh, started with six or seven uh, a year and a half ago, and I now have 223 people registered to be Freedom Drivers. And uh, I've never had a situation where we've not been able to fill a ride. Uh, we did a drive uh, last week, in fact, where I had 24 different driver slots involved. So I had six drivers out of Oklahoma City, and then we had four legs and we were able to fill all the slots fine and, and people are so wonderful to help and they have such compassion and, and, and caring for these pups and wanting to help. We pretty much go anywhere. Now, primarily we're pulling dogs out of Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, Missouri, uh, a few out of Iowa, but primarily those four states is where we, is where we pick up most of our dogs. Uh, then we also do uh, what we call forever family rides where we're taking dogs to their to their forever families. And and uh, that's a wonderful experience, especially if you've done their freedom ride and then to complete their journey. Yeah, I would say if, if you're looking to get involved at Always and Forever, freedom rides are a wonderful way to do it. Uh, and I will normally, if, for a new driver that's never been involved, I try to set them up with, a, with an easy drive where it's a single dog, it's a dog we know that's, that's people friendly, that's dog friendly. And uh, it's just a great way to get involved and feel like you're making a difference. And so if you, if you want to experience the joy of seeing a dog change, and that transformation, it's a great way to be involved. And uh, most of the people that, that do the Freedom Rides absolutely love them. <laughs> Wow, it's, um, what's my favorite part about doing Freedom Rides? I mean, it, I think it is ab absolutely the relationship with the dogs. Like I said, we get to be the first ones to meet the dogs, first ones to fall in love with them, first ones to welcome them to the ANF family. And it creates this very special bond with the dog. When I come into the barn to see the dogs, they, I instantly get mobbed with the dogs. I wish I had more hands to pet and love them. Um, but it's just, you create this bond that, that because you, you've been their first safe person.